Hundreds of Villa fans have staged an angry protest at Villa Park in a desperate last-ditch bid to stop Alex McLeish being appointed manager. About 500 fans turned up to the stadium and occupied its car park while decking the gates with homemade banners, saying that McLeish was not wanted at the club. The protest comes on the same day as graffiti was daubed on the gates at the club's training ground, also showing opposition to Alex McLeish as manager of Aston Villa. Villa fans have directed their full fury at the Scottish manager, who guided Birmingham City to win the Carling Cup this year, while Villa chairman Randy Lerner seems to have escaped unscathed. Police kept a low profile during the largely good-humoured protest, but attracted some mild abuse from fans. The fans then marched to the halt end of the stadium and continued their protest on the steps, creating a makeshift terrace. None of us were boy season tickets. I will. A lot of Villa fans were never boy season tickets. And if Alex McLeish come to Villa, I'm never watching Villa on TV or nothing again. Who would want a, who would want a nose here? Aston Villa, we're not blues. We, we don't we don't rejects from there. He took them down. We want to stay in the top flight. <laughs> you season what? ticket holder? Huh? You season ticket holder here? I was, but I'm not no more. <laughs> and it, if he comes here, I probably I wouldn't stay loyal to the club. Simple as that. learner has got to book his ideas up. Not just to the fact there's a blue nose. That does enter the equation. It's more down to style of football or complete lack of. Um, it's negative, negativity um, is last year for instance Birmingham or well, small league the lowest amount of goals in the league the fewest shots in the league um, come the end of the season when they got relegated on that day they come out with every excuse that you'd expect small league to come out with even blaming things like suspensions now the manager is in charge of that football team and then players they got suspended under him they didn't score goals under him we had a disastrous season. I, I fear with, with him in charge, um, it, it could be even worse. And I believe that our board has bankrupt Aston Villa's credibility. Four people in my family have season tickets. We sit in the lower alt end. So we only pay £360 a year, but they've lost that times four. So they lost 1440 quid, is it? You know, so it's their loss. But there's going to be hundreds, if not thousands, who are not going to come. Matter of principle, he's not good enough for Aston Villa. Well, because he's too. He played for. He was manager for Birmingham City, and we just don't want a blue nose as our manager. An announcement is expected soon on whether Big Eck will take over from the position left vacant because of Gerard Houllier's health problems.